Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in last video, we have seen uh, one feature of HTTP 2.0. The name was uh, request multiplexing. I hope you have gone through uh, the request multiplexing concept uh, and understood uh, the feature very well. So in, in this video, uh, we will see basically the three important features of HTTP 2.0. The first one is a uh, compression technique. The second one being binary protocol and third one is server push. And then we will conclude this topic. So uh, coming to the first point, the compression. So in uh, traditional uh, HTTP protocol, HTTP 1.0 protocol, the, the request headers were not getting compressed before transmitting to the network. But now in HTTP 2.0, the all the redundant HTTP headers are getting compressed using a H pack uh, compression technique and then uh, it's being transmitted to the network. So that adds uh, the reducing size of the packet, reduce the network transmission uh, traffic and overall it adds value to the uh, data transfer speed and uh, storage uh, network traffic basically. So that's a being important feature uh, added in HTTP 2.0. Now coming to the next uh, feature that is binary protocol. So as we know, uh, there are there is a data format uh, which is in binary form. Generally, we have seen in our curriculum uh, binary data format, text data format, right? So binary data format is native language of a computer, and computer can easily process binary data with very less overhead in terms of uh, uh, processing and uh, speed and performance. Now, what are the benefits of being uh, using a binary data here? So first benefit is low overhead in parsing a data because it's a native language of uh, computer itself. It's very easy for computer to uh, parse the incoming request compared to the uh, text data. Then uh, another benefit is uh, less prone to error as it's not being in the readable human readable format. Uh, binary data is not in human readable format. It's less, less prone to error. How basically if someone gets the network packet uh, HTTP packet from the network, the person will not be able to read the packet because it's not in human readable format. So that's one of the advantage. Then uh, the binary data transmission from the network is always lighter, uh, lighter uh, compared to the text data. Then effective network resource utilization, as uh, the size of a data in binary is uh, is uh, it consumes lesser bytes compared to the text data, so there will be a network uh, effective network uh, resource utilization. Then obviously uh, there is a eliminating the networks security concern as the, the data is not being in human readable format even someone gets that HTTP request from the network uh, he will not be able to understand the data and all these features being added the, the reduce uh, network latency and improved uh, and improves the through overall throughput of uh, the processing so that's all uh, I mean the advantage of uh, using the binary data here and uh, binary data is always uh, uh, recommended uh, yeah, while uh, communicate uh, in, in network communication uh, always or by uh, all over the industry yeah next important feature is server push this feature is something special one uh, and has added uh, additional capabilities uh, in HTTP 2.0. So uh, let's understand first how it was being done uh, in traditional HTTP 
so whenever a client wants some resource from server and uh, generally one resource is associated with another resource it's not uh, it's very unlikely that uh, only a single resource is uh, enough to uh, load the page or load some application there are multiple resources required uh, whenever uh, there is a, there is a loading operation starts all right so multiple requests are being sent from client to get a different different resources right and uh, sometimes it's possible that uh, whenever resource x is uh, requested it is very likely possible that request y is also required along uh, to process the resource x so client again begins another request to get that resource y after uh, after getting the resource x so how this process can be optimized uh, the research research were being done uh, on on that and uh, and the experts uh, came to the conclusion that why why not we provide a power to the server and client to send the additional resources along with the requested resource and that was one of the game changing uh, thought uh, came out of the result now so in http 2.0 the server can send the additional resource along with the requested resource and server can also initiate a request with a client in traditional http uh, 1.0 the request can only be sent from the client to server and not from the server to client but in http 2.0 the server can also initiate a request to uh, with the client and i think that's uh, something special here now what are the uh, benefits of uh, server push feature here so it provides the additional catchable information uh, which is which is uh, which is which is not in the request then uh, along with this the client saves the pushed resources in cache now whenever there are some resources uh, requires very frequently uh, those requests those resources needs to be fetched from the uh, database files or hard disks right so but those are the io operations and those are being very costly to perform uh, every uh, very frequently so instead of pulling it from the actual source of the resource why not we cache it so that's the one of the uh, another uh, benefit uh, the server push feature have added client and server have a power now to cache those uh, frequently accessible resources now server can multi server can multiplex the push resources in the same tcp connection this we have already seen in the request uh, multiplexing feature in the same tcp connection server can send a multiple tcp uh, multiple http request and vice versa another thing server push feature uh, added is uh, client can decline or disable this server push feature if server has sent some additional resources with a requested resource the client has a has a authority to accept it or to decline it or completely disable the server push feature from the server so that's the power uh, have uh, to the client that's option to the client so i think overall it has added uh, much benefit over the http 1.0 now uh, i will just want to correlate this server push feature with one of the uh, the real life example we so that we can remember this feature very well now whenever we go to the restaurant uh, right we order uh, a meal let's say we have order a meal uh, we we we, we uh, order a meal to the waiter now waiter has accepted our request waiter went to get the meal and so waiter started thinking waiter was a smart guy 
so waiter started thinking oh this guy has requested a meal so he he will require a water bottle after a meal so along with the meal he uh, he took a water bottle with uh, a meal and went to the customer so that's the smart way of thinking and similar feature is being uh, we can think of the server push uh, as a similar feature i hope the, you understood the example and uh, with this example we will be able to uh, remember uh, this uh, special feature so uh, so for which all uh, we will just list down so for which all uh, features we have seen so first one we have seen was uh, request multiplication request multiplexing if you haven't seen this video of request multiplexing i request you to first go to this video and watch this picture the next one we have seen is http compression http compression or uh, header compression or request compression whatever it's basically idea is uh, to compress uh, redundant headers request headers and send it across the uh, network the next one we have seen is a binary protocol and the next one the uh, the final one is a uh, server push so these are the four important features we have seen about http 2.0 and we also tried to compare with the http 1.0 so uh, the benefit of uh, knowing this information is uh, whenever you go to the interviews generally these questions being asked uh, to just to test your knowledge or just to uh, understand how updated you are uh, with uh, technology stacks so they generally prefers to start with uh, do you know uh, what is http do you know any other version uh, the latest version of http uh, right then if you have if you have answered those question then they will go further into deep do you know any features or what are the new features being added in http 2.0 compared to http 1.0 so if you are able to answer these questions then uh, obviously you are making some positive impact on the interviewer and the chances are of being you getting hired is more All right so if you are unable to answer obviously there will be negative impact and uh, yeah you know what the hr will answer to you uh, and then we will get back to you and they will never get back to you yeah that's how it is now uh, yeah so coming uh, yeah no, no, let's conclude this uh, session so now we have seen the four important features of http 2.0 and uh, so there are there are many more uh, there are even more features uh, are there but i think i i thought these are the important one uh, which needs to be remember yeah so i hope you like this video and if you like this video please click on the like button please subscribe to my channel to get notified with upcoming videos and please click on the bell icon so that you you will get notified with uh, whenever i post the new video on some new topic i am concluding this http series here uh, with four features being explained thank you for watching this video